What's up, folks? Uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is use the tool Siege by Joe Dog Software, which is a load balancing benchmarking tool to test the response time of my web servers. And I'm also going to demonstrate the impact of using something like page caching set up with W3 Total Cache. If you want to learn how to set up page caching with W3 Total Cache, check out uh, this other video that I made that goes through how to do that using WordPress, PayMarshes Pro, and W3 Total Cache. But assuming I have it installed, I just don't have it enabled, I have a demo WordPress site here called Must Love Dogs, and I have a little script on this site. This is actually running locally, so if you develop websites locally, it's going to run really fast anyway. Like the, Our local machines are very good at serving the website to you directly on the machine. In the web, on your normal hosting, things will be much slower. But I simulate like a one to two second drag on loading this blog post. So it takes like somewhere between one and a half to two and a half seconds to load, which isn't terrible, but I think we'll do a demo of how does that stack up and add up if you have something like 250 people trying to come to your website at the same time. And that's what Siege can do. So again, you can go here to joedog.org um, and search for Siege. It's also on GitHub. I got the download from here. You also can install with Brew on the Mac. So follow download instructions to get it running. But once you get it running in a terminal, so this is on my Mac in a terminal, I ran Brew install Siege and I got it fine. Now I have the tool. If I type Siege, it gives me the help. You could read some of the readmes and manuals there to figure out how to use it, but I'll show you how to do that in this demo. Let me bump up the font size on my window quick. And we'll start sieging. Now, again, this is, let's be careful. This tool is like literally the same tool that people will use to do denial of service attacks or the same kind of tool. It's when you set it up, it's going to unleash bots onto your website, kind of hitting potentially different pages. And if you do this on your live site, there is a chance that it'll crash your site. So be careful, use at your own risk. Okay. So again, here's my website. This is a local site running on my Mac. And I'm going to go into my WordPress admin and I'll show you. I have W3 Total Cache installed and configured. But if I go to the general settings, you'll see I don't have the page cache enabled right now. So what the page cache will do is when an outsider, like a non-user, tries to load the blog page, it's going to load the cache version, version much quicker than loading this one. Um, so let me go into Siege. And here's how you use it. It's pretty easy. There's uh, only a few of the modifiers that you really want to use. So Siege and then dash time, and then you can write something like 10 seconds, one minute, two minutes. I'll do 10 seconds just for demo purposes here. And then what I'll do is I'll crank up the concurrent users. A more typical test that you might do on your site would be like one minute, 10 users, or 25 users, maybe max. This is literally 25 people at the same time hammering refresh over and over on your website. And then you can copy and paste the URL here. So what this test is going to do is over the next 10 seconds, it's going to unleash 250 people onto this demo site I have locally and aggregate some stats on how it loads. You're going to see a lot of screen scroll here. And here it goes, preparing, boom. So this is it loading the files. And so it's grabbing the page cache, it's loading all the files. It did that for about 10 seconds and it dumps out this report here. Let me copy and paste this to save. All right, I have an old test here, but I'll show the new test. So... Or 3,267 hits. And actually, like, the server didn't do too bad. Like, it took 10 seconds. It served. The response time was 0.2 seconds. I think if you run this on a live server, you'll find that might be very slow. Concurrency, there was 81 people at a time on the website. I remember I sent 250 people onto the site, but the concurrency was only 81. So it, it the server was backed up. Siege couldn't even, like, squeeze, you know, whatever it is, uh, you know, 100 and... 80 more of those people onto the site. And the longest transaction here is when you look at it was 10 seconds. So even though pages were loaded in two to three seconds, because the backup in the lab, even on like my local machine, things got backed up to 10 seconds for some of these concurrent users. And it couldn't even serve all concurrent users. If you run this on your live website, again, be careful. You won't, you won't be surprised that failed transactions, the response times should go much slower, things like that. So now let me show you the difference when I enable page caching. So I'm going to go back into the admin here, click enable, click save settings. So now I have page caching on that site. And when Siege hits that same URL, 10, 250 users over the next 10 seconds, hitting the slash blog URL, it's going to load it from the page cache. Let's see what happens. 
so it's running. And let's see what we got. So let me copy these settings again into the doc so we can compare them. So here's what we got. So again, it's a 8,650 hits. That's way more hits than happen without the page cache. So the hit is like file downloaded, right? So, so it's kind of like three times as many pages got loaded. That's similar to the concurrency. So I unleashed 250 people on the site, 245 of them got in the queue and downloaded the website in that 10 seconds. Some of the other people didn't get to it. And the response time was 30 se uh, 0.3 seconds. That's very strong. And the longest transaction was only seven seconds. So it's, it's uh, faster than that 10 seconds. And so the big one here is like almost all 250 people got into the website in 10 seconds when I unleashed them on the siege. When you run this on actual web servers, you'll find um, things should be much slower. And the performance gain from doing something like page caching will be even larger. Let me show you one more bonus thing of how I use Siege. So the thing I also do is I will create a file of URLs. So I can open that. And so you put in here like the demo I did before was just the slash blog page, but that's not realistic use of your website. People are coming to your homepage, your blog page. Sure, your blog page is cached, but your checkout pages aren't cached. What happens when it's loading a combination of cached pages and not cached pages? So you can put some URLs in here that are like the typical important landing pages for your website. I have like the pricing page and a couple of the checkout pages and the homepage. So we have all the URLs that our little siege bots are going to go after. Let's type out the command to run siege using those URLs. So I'm going to type siege dash T. Let's do 10 seconds again. I, usually I'd actually do much longer campaigns, but for the video purposes, I'm doing it slow. And then concurrent users, 250. This is a ton. Uh, you might want to do much smaller to start and kind of test it and work up as you go. And then we'll type dash F URLs dot TXT and unleash those bots. So now the bots are hitting a few different sites on the demo site. Again, I, I do have page caching enabled now, so it should do pretty good at serving content to these 250 users. And it spits out the report. So it served 11,000 hits. That's page loads and files. Uh, you know, there's multiple hits per page load. If you're looking at page logs, every file that gets loaded is a hit. Availability, 100%. It didn't fail. You know, how much data was transferred. The throughput here is pretty good. Two point, point, you look at the response time is really important. And on my local server, it's going to be great. This will slow down on real web servers. And then see if there's any transactions fail. And then the longest transaction was only 1.29 seconds. So I think that slash blog page was one that I kind of artificially hindered to load slow. So in a more realistic scenario where like I have a pretty beefy optimized site, the long, it, it only slowed things down to 1.29 seconds, even though there was 245, almost 250 people accessing the site at 10 seconds. So that was a demo of using the Siege tool to do load testing on your website. Be very, very careful with it. When you point this at your own site, do never point it at someone else's website or a customer's website. You don't have permission. And when you point it at your own sites, be very careful. Like start with very few concurrent users and build it up to really test like where your website starts to slow down. And that'll show you room for improvement performance wise. And again, hopefully this was a demonstration of how like very simple page caching and something like W3 total cache on your WordPress site has a huge boost in improvement of like uh, the performance, even on a local setup. So thanks for your time.